Welcome back to episode 15 of Pineleaf Plays the Lore Master. Now the first thing to note is that at level 15 I finally gained my Raven. So I could use that instead of my Bear if I chose to do so. It will probably depend on the particular quest I'm on. Now we need to talk to Barlaman here. Forward an unwanted guest. One thing drives out another. So many people coming and going these days. There is one guest, though, one I'd rather do without. But coin keeps a room, and he comes with coin enough to pay a bill. Brooding sort. Like the darker corners of the end and speaks to none. Most people are a bit afeard of his ilk. Bartman lowers his voice. He's one of them rangers, he is calls himself Strider, from the common room turn left down the hall, down until you right. Okay, gotcha. So let's talk to Strider. I'll also take this trouble in oh, Buckland so quest, much to do. even though I'm not going to do anything about it until I head down to Buckland, but that won't be too far away. Oh, and I got some mail too. In fact, I might have to delay Strider a bit, since I suspect I know what this mail's about. Let's head on out. To the mailbox. Pressing matters from Dalton Willow. I hope that your studies are not diminished by your desire to trudge throughout the world out there. There is another lesser among with the letter along with this that informs you what I need. Please return it to me quickly. Studies should not wait. Signed, Dalton Willow. Very well. And this other letter is a quest item. It says to bring the letter to Dalton Willow. Pine Wolf, I recently d discovery make me think of you and the talent you have. This request require you to have your thoughts in a very rigid order. Please visit me with this letter as soon as possible. And this is of course the level 15 class quest for the lore master. And class quests are certainly one of those few things that I that take precedence on virtually everything else. Which is why I am um, dropping Strider for the moment and heading into here. And here he is. A pressing matter. And he has for me a well-ordered my first. Let's take care Greetings. of Greetings. Alright, thank you for coming quickly. Here you go. Might I take a moment of your time? Your studies continues apace, Pine Wolf. Creatures of nature see in you a friend and ally, and the mysteries of the past lie untapped before you. There is always more to learn, but you have an understanding of this Middle Earth that few others can reach. One of the greatest lore masters of our day was a man by the name of Benton Oaks. He maintained a vast store of knowledge, old tomes and scrolls, small trinkets of unusual heritage. It is said that Benton came to an unhappy end, but he is survived by his son Dorset. Dorset, too, is a lore master and undoubtedly learned much from his father before Benton met his fate. A great tree grows south of west east of the village of Saddle, down the golden leaves it bears all year round, and Dorset Oaks will be there, and I get for that this nice robe. All right. Actually, what does it look like? It's a reddish robe. Of course, I can always turn it gray if I want to. Hmm. Well, how's that compared to what I'm wearing now? Maybe a little bit too colorful, but it could be an alternative to mine if I wish. So we'll head on our way to find this Dorset Oaks. 
And I'll definitely need to ride there. Anything else going? Oh yes. Tr speaking of training, now you don't need to talk to the trainer anymore for training. But I do need to allocate points. And I have another point that I gained at level 15. So I might as well finish that. And that will give me Stamp Out the Fire. Your pets deal bonus damage to enemies suffering from burning embers. And since I open combat with burning embers, that will be a nice addition to it. And of course, next level, I'll be able to handle a couple extra things. Now that, of course, will dismount me. Right? I thought it would dismount me. I guess not. Alright, then I'll just continue on my way and follow the road down until I get to the yellow tree. Now this is the class quest for the lore master. Now there are many ways in which to do this, but I'm going to show you what's technically the right way of doing it. So I noticed that there are times where if you some people like to turn it into a combat quest or something like that. But I do mind to have as little combat as possible during the main instance. So it'll be a while before I get to the instance because first you'll have something else for me to do. How can I be of service? Yes, welcome. Rumors of my father's wisdom has oft brought lore masters such as yourself to hear my words, and I fear sometimes that they leave me disappointed. I do not have the knowledge my father had. Indeed, his way of thinking was so very different from my own that I cannot comprehend even what he considers most simple. Consider the organization of his library. He found a suitable cave in the rocky hills of Breland and took it for his private library, filling it with books and scrolls collected over the course of his long life. But whenever I seek to find one of the books in which he spoke to me, I am completely at a loss. He entrusted me with a catalog detailing which books could be found in which cells. But the system simply made no sense to me and I was careless with the pages. Now I have only the last one. Brigands and goblins have no doubt found the others by now. Without the full catalog, how am I to fight on a hardiness of animals in the wilderness? My father assured me that before his death that it was on the shelf in the library. I will share you the wisdom contained between its covers if you help me find the book. The library is large and we cannot search it unaided, so therefore, here's the page I've got. Now, technically, you could go right into the instance now, but here we have the catalog, page 3, and he tells the various books that there are and, and where they're contained, their shelf numbers. Now, you can go in there right away if you wish and maybe spend a little time there trying to figure out which shelf is on. But you could in fact be told exactly which shelf it's on just by... Yes, I know. Copper. And what I need to do is get the other pages. Now he said something about the goblins and brigands. Well, let me go kill a goblin and see if the go any of the goblins have it on them. And in fact, here is a sapper. Let's see what he has. Of course, it might help if I... And collected Brenton's catalog, page one. All right. Now I need to go find a brigand for the other one. As far as I can tell, one's on a goblin and one's on a brigand, though. 
I guess I could someday test out to see if killing 30 goblins will eventually get me both pages. So now, brigands. There are plenty of brigands in Breland. If you haven't figured that out yet from the stuff that we did at the beginning. With all those black wolves. <laughs> and I can also bring in... Now, let's bring in the raven for a moment. Now the Raven has two skills, Benediction of the Raven, which gives it, them a penalty to fire mitigation, and Distraction, which harms them in their range damage. I'll put those on auto skills since I have a habit of forgetting things. So I'll see whether or not he does Benediction of the Raven early in the combat, since that would be most useful. And here's Brigand right here. Alright. Perhaps I will need to do that. Well, that's it. I got the other page. Right? Yep, now I have all three pages. Now if you go through all three of these pages, you will see that every uh, every shelf is mentioned all through here. He talks about where the various shelves are, where the various sets are, and where the various books are. And the idea is that you are to find the one that's not mentioned on the list. And I've done this quest so many times that I no, even without reading it. So the last time I did a lore master, I probably went there without killing the Dorset Oaks. All the right. Son of a lore master, now, now this dead. is how not Sixth to enter an instance. Contained in his father's old library. Yes. And is prepared to hunt for the now, to the from what I've heard. However, goblins. Once you get in this, you're stuck with this for a while. So it's not going to do me any good to talk to him at the moment. Therefore, we'll take a brief break, and when I return, maybe the instance will behave. Let's see if we can get in now. I'll talk to Dorset. Dorset Oaks, the son of a lawmaster now dead, seeks the knowledge contained in his father's old library and is prepared to hunt for the pages to the catalogs his father had written. <laughs> However, goblins have been digging in the caves near the library, and may soon break through. So we have to worry about some goblins. And here is the library with the various sections. And I'm going to come here. I believe this is it. B9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And a lot better than randomly going through every single one. Yes, the goblins just broke through, but... What do you need? I'm out of here. Yes, I know, that was the fastest instance ever. But it can become a lot more exciting if you remain around to fight the goblins. Keep on breaking in, keep on breaking in. You get the idea. What can I do for you? Especially if you have a lot of trouble finding the... The book. But if you've done it enough times, you know exactly where to look. And of course, if you've read the various pages, it will tell you not where it's at, but where it's not at. And by process of elimination, you can figure out which one is the final location. And that's a nice item then, at least to where is my main armor for the moment. But that takes care of 
that and there is a class D the clear three class D this is actually a part of so therefore it will help in my getting another class trait meanwhile time to get back to Strider actually well I do want to get this copper first of course fastest way to the prancing pony is the port there now I will need to name my raven now, I like to name my ravens after things similar to minerals and the likes which is why I have ochre for my bear and charcoal for my raven since it's a blackbird but I will turn off my raven for now since I'm about to go in the inn and there is nothing more annoying than listening to someone's raven squawking constantly while you're talking to a vendor inside an inn or the like crafting calls are even worse so therefore I do like to dismiss at least Loremaster pets under such circumstances. Now Strider is this way and you have this nice little quest ring to tell you and here we are your tidings are grim while the black wolves have been broken Amdir's escape bodes ill he must be stopped before it is too late there is little time to waste very well the dour hands lord fled to breland after his defeat and not by mere chance i see the hand of the captain of the nine in all these affairs in the west in the shire and in breland we must unravel the thread of his plans and i believe i know how so we are to go to a black walled camp to the east of bree and this is an instance are you ready to leave yep ready to go and there'll be more fighting in this one than there was in the previous Strider instance. Strider and the rangers pursue their fallen brother Amdir to the Black Wall's camp. But not all is as it seems. Very well. There is evil afoot. Can you feel the chill in the air? It is no natural cold, but the chill of fear, of evil. I doubt not that Amdir is here, but there is a greater evil as well. We should split our strength. That's right. Let's split the party! And I'll fall toward it. Or, Leglin, yes. He's, Torthon is going with Strider. I go with Leglin. Or is it the other way around? Oh, no, I go toward it. Wait, 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 wait. They go that way, we go this way. And yes, we actually do get some combat here. Unlike the previous instance where I ran out. Oh. Are you ready? All that time just to get a quest ring. And we come here. Now, it so happens, the way it is now, half of the enemy here are in yellow, so don't have to be fought. You could kill them if you wish. The ones you do have to fight are at level 15, since this is a level 15 instance. Looks like some of the others are of lower levels. So I'm not going to worry too much about those level 10s. But if you're into AoEs or want to be complete, you can kill them if you wish. Uh, 
Like, I really need a ranger with me in order to actually complete this. In fact, they tend to be dead by the time my... <laughs> by the time the ranger arrives. That's the thing about these instances, that whenever your ally finishes combat, they run back to a reset to their last location before they entered combat mode. Silently now. Darkness approaches. Yes, darkness approaches. In other words, there's something around here. That's evil. That we need to deal with. And now we have here Scorgrim, who <laughs> unknown level looks like elite. Uh, actually, not can't be just elite. Well, anyway, real nasty guy. Hey, you have to get close enough so as you could trigger the next action. Otherwise, he just sits there waiting forever, and he's going to summon a couple of rats. This skeleton. In this white, now I noticed that the bear still has only one skill. New deed, enmity of the dead. Yes, that's the first of my style moments. Racial deeds to unlock. I also get one for wargs and one for hillmen. It'll be a while before I meet any hillmen unless I run Stormal Methodress, which I could start doing at level 20, but seeing that there's only one Dunlending in that instance, it's not <laughs> worth doing the deed by running that. But that one will unlock after a while anyway. First one, though, is the whites. And that's going to probably be done in the Barrel Downs, of course. Since that's an easy place to find whites. And you can see here, we're in here now. We've got Strider chasing away the Nazgul as we fight here. And here's Omdir. Who's now a Kargul? A dead Kargul? And Omdir's down. Yay! It's a sorry day. It is a day both dreary and joyous. It grieves me that we are forced to slay Omdir, but a relief that he should now know peace. I will lead you back to Strider. I will return to my camp. Preferably it's in that a sorry order. Day. The Nazgul have crossed the Aizen and are heading for the Shire. The hobbits must be quick-footed enough to escape the wrath of the Nine. And we can only hope that Frodo slips through the traps of the enemy. And that finishes unraveling the thread. Alas, for Amdir. It grieves me, it grieves my heart that the enemy was able to turn Amdir thus. He was my friend and kinsman. My people remember him as the man he once was, good and noble. It troubles me that the Nazgul have crossed the river and moved into Breland at just such this time. There are events in motion which could determine the fate of Middle-earth. Yes, something about a Mr. Underhill, I think you once mentioned. I have a task for you. Or a Baggins, actually. There we go. I am curious to know who this dwarf you encountered with the Black Wolves was. Dwarves are by nature honorable and cannot be dominated by the will of any. You haven't met the Dourhands, obviously. So we'll travel to Comb and 
Talk to Constable Underhill. What road did you take, Frodo? The ringwraiths ride openly in the Shire, but there are places which are even more terrible and dangerous. If you choose the path I fear, search for the light in the darkness. Hey do, Mary do. I know, that's a later one. Now, let's find Mr. Underhill. We've talked to him before. So it's a little bit easier for those who've played through the Archit Round, the Race of Man, since they've talked to him before, while someone playing with the Hobbit... Well, it's... How do you do? I suppose it's good that they were ported here. Ah, oh, hello there! Is there something I can help you with? The Black Wolves have been broken and scattered, you say? Well, this is good news. So this Ranger Strider thinks he sh we should investigate Skunkwolf's old hideout. Might I speak with you a moment? As long as we don't have to meet Sarah Oakhart again. And now we How have another do? instance. As if one isn't enough. Amdir's defeat shattered the back of the Black Walls, but pieces of the mystery remain unsolved. Goodness, this place Goodness. is quite a tomb. I wish we could say all was peaceful and leave, but I suppose we need a better job than that. All right, no use putting off what must be done. I guess you get a point there. Oh. I suppose I should bring out a bear. And keep Thunderhill alive. Now actually, I think this is a good time to set the bear on aggressive. There isn't really any trouble he can get into, and I really would like him to attack right away. It's not wait for me to get this fire off. A few more Neeker Breakers. Yes, we got to go through quite a number of Neekers to get here. Very well. Alright, there are a few more in here. Oh behind us first. That's why you don't go too fast in these instances because they're also triggered by Mr. Underhill and not necessarily by me. Are you waiting for... Okay, yes. Now we can press on. I think that's... It. All right, now he's coming forward. Now the final set of sneakers. That's why I want the bear here since three at a time. This should be very quick. And now, <laughs> that completes Neeker Breaker Slayer, yes. So now I am Pine Wolf Shell Breaker. Yes. Alright. Yeah, I got turbine points. I got a new deed for the advanced version. La 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 la. And now, I'm stealthy quietly here with a big bear behind me! <laughs> And now, another one of those arguments in there, and now we have some dwarves to worry about. Yeah, I know. Bit overkill for the... It's a bit of overkill doing that. The blinding flash, Can't but you leave me to my misery. Doesn't hurt. Yeah. All right, now where is he? Now this is a real tricky one. You go up to him, and then he moves back as soon as you get close enough. <laughs> and the bear went off to kill some rats, I think. 
Oh, well. Just a moment. Well, it seems the strange dwarf escaped. How he got out of here is a mystery to me. And from what you said of that brigand's tale, the dwarf was the one who should have been worried about, not these black wolves. Well, I suppose the black wolves are truly broken now, but for some reason I still don't feel safe. Well, there's not much I can do here. You'd best take tidings back to your ranger friend in Bree. Travel back. The rangers which once guarded the borders of the Shire have been scattered or slain. Frodo has left the Shire, but great perils await him in Bree. I am too late. Someone must find him before the Nazgul. Yes, I know. I've heard many comments about that completely empty bed without any stuffing in it either. A lovely day, isn't Good it? show! Good show indeed! Take a reward! How about some resilient trousers? Plus five will, yes. I think I'll take those. Please, stay a moment. Good day to you. What are you still doing here? Those black ones are gone as likely for good. That strange dwarf might still be around, but I'll wager he went on to something a bit more interesting. You should take your news back to your friend Strider, yes. And we get a port straight to him. Back to Strider! Back to Ku. Alright, well, hopefully we're done with that side. And back to Strider. We must move quickly. You have returned, and just in time. Much has happened since you left. But I have little time to relate it. The tidings you have brought me will be of great use to my men here in Breland. But there's a more immediate threat we must deal with now. While you're away, those same Nazgul you saw with Amdir attacked the pony. They were in search of the travelers I had been waiting for, Hobbits of the Shire. I cannot tell you why they had such interest in my companions, but I can tell you that I have need of your help again. I need your aid. While both you and I have seen five Nazgul, their true number is nine. Therefore, I can take my charges beyond Bree. I must know where the other four are hiding. Would you travel to the west and speak to Langland? I sent him to Buckland to watch for a particular hobbit. It seems that Mr. Underhill and his friends decided to take a different path and are now here under my protection. Still, Langland may know the whereabouts of the remaining Nazgul. He camps at a rise to... The, oh, okay, well, this must be a different Underhill than the one we were just talking to. If this one just came from the Shire, and we know that the Underhill that we were just with was not from the Shire, and that's the next place to go, is to talk to Langland. Now, that, of course, will have to be for the next episode, because there's no way I'm going to take you through there. I'm wondering if there's any XP for talking to the mayor here. Well, you do get some rep for that. If not, I mean, really, it's going to be a very short episode next time, if... I certainly don't want to have a 15.1 for such a small amount of XP left before it goes over. Oh, I know what I could do. I could always craft for that level 16. Yes, that's of course. Precisely what I should do. What can I do for you? Hello, Mayor. Hello. Welcome to Bree Town. La 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 la. Yes, I'll give you just enough experience so that you're only 80 XP from making it. Retown the trestle bridge. Take a moment of your time. Much later.
stay a moment, and talk to Bonnie and Thatcher, and he's going to send me all over the place. And any XP that you may earn in this quest, which I can't remember if there is any, will be way too late. But I know an easier way. Actually, I wonder if that task board is. Has anything I can do? Nope. I didn't collect anything from the task board this time around. And, oh yeah. This is for the Homestead quest, which you get at level 15. Could I speak with you a moment? Speak with one of the housing brokers? Yep. And no, I'm not going to do that immediately either. I'll just take care of that when I pass the housing broker at some point. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go outside of town and kill something. Oh, no, 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 no. Got a better idea. I still got copper with me. So I'll go to... The, I'll just go to the nearest... Forge. And smelt a little copper. Yes, I'll be nice near the exit so I could head off on my way. Capital plan. So yes, while I usually don't show you crafting, I will show you a little bit. I don't think I have all that much copper to do anyway. <laughs> So therefore, prospector, smelting, five, yeah. That would give me, well, not enough to master it, but 15 XP a pop. That'll give me 75, no, oh, 25 XP a pop. Sorry about that. All right. Much better. So the next one should get me to level 16. And there we are. There for next time, I'll be ready to head out of Bree. On towards Lenglen. For the next phase of Pineleaf Plays. The Loremaster.